Matt Dykus, and I'm part of the uh, what's known as the Vermont 45 in the EAD program. Uh, we sent 45 of our Air National Guard troops out to four different active duty bases, and I'm here at Luke Air Force Base uh, along with about 14 others from our home unit. Um, all different career fields, and we're all working here together, training on the F-35 to bring our experience back home. It was important to send Guardsmen out on this program for three years to gain this experience because we are the first Guard unit to get this aircraft. There is no painted path for us to do this. Vermont is the pioneer in this program in setting this up. So it was crucial to send these 45 members to multiple locations to all gather different experiences to make sure we had mission success in fall of 2019. My favorite part about this program is learning a new job. Um, I always like to try to learn as much as I can and I feel like I'm doing a big part in service, um, helping others and knowing that I'm going to be working on a new aircraft that essentially is going to help defend our nation. Our Guardsmen's performance has been outstanding. Some of the accomplishments that our Guardsmen have had here on the EAD program have been Techstar and Bessery, uh, eliminating probably about 50% of the canopy uh, flex charge time replacement. Most of our LO troops here have been a part of a program first for wet layup carbon fiber repairs in the field. Tech Sergeant Janes is running the first multi has AMU two of them, and Tech Sergeant Kucher is part of the first uh, Air Force F 35 demo team. Coming into this program, we decided it'd, it'd be beneficial, so we've moved my family. Our, our family moved across the country for three years. It's been quite a learning experience um, for all of us. So I was given the opportunity to be a part of a team that works flexible, flexible linear shape charges, all the explosives and items in the ejection seat that get the pilot out if there's ever an emergency. And throughout that process, doing them over and over, we eliminated numerous steps and molded steps together to where we've cut 129 hours of the process. So instead of a five-day task, we now get the aircraft ready in three days. We've been doing some pretty extraordinary things since we've been here. Some of the things we've been doing in LO are we're repairing panels that have never been repaired before on this airframe. There's like three, four panels that we've restored and is now in the job tech data Air Force wide uh, for the procedures that we've created here at Loop. Um, I feel extremely confident to be able to go back and help our mission at the 158th only because Luke has done a really good job with making sure that we've been able to be well-rounded anytime I've wanted to be put in a position where, hey, I'm, I kind of want to learn a little bit more about this, can we go here? If we wanted to make sure that we wanted knowledge growth on anything, that they would be able to allow that to happen. When I first got to Luke Air Force Base, they had the F-35 Heritage Flight Team, and it's basically a team that travels around to all the air shows and kind of shows off the F-35, and I was really excited about it, and I put in an application and ended up getting selected through an interview process to join the team. And this year, we actually transitioned to the F-35 demonstration team, and I was named the F-35 demonstration team lead. So being able to travel all over the country and all over the world and show off the jet, and just seeing people's reactions when they see the jet for the first time and they see what it can do has been really rewarding for me, and that excitement is just gonna carry back with me to Vermont National Guard. So knowing that what we do here at Luke is a very crucial part of the V-Tanks mission is extremely rewarding. We are here pioneering a new program that's never really been done before. And just knowing that, that I'm doing this for my unit back home and setting them up for success is absolutely amazing. The best thing about being a part of this program, and I think personally, is that you, they always tell you that you're bigger, that being in the Guard or being in the military in general is always being something greater than yourself. But this program, it's we are the future of the Vermont National Guard. And when I first came in at 17, I never thought in a million years that I'd be able to be given the opportunity to be able to represent Vermont in such an amazing way. And it's just been pretty great to be able to, to be that number, to be that person that gets to come home and be like, yeah, I, I ramped up this aircraft. I helped, I, we all did. We all did such a great job on making sure that Vermont was taken care of and they trusted me, which is just the coolest feeling in the world.